Hello everyone and today we will see how we can adjust uh, the GPU for Abacus and how we can see that if it is being utilized or not. So let's submit this job and uh, in the parallelization we get these six cores that I have and I will use one GPU acceleration so I will just click OK and then submit it. Now there are two things that I, I need to look in the monitor and uh, one is to see how many if it is using the GPU or not and the second one is that how many cores it is utilizing and we will see that in in the taskbar as well uh, for example I would go to the performance and then I will see when is GPU being utilized or not so let's wait for the pre and uh, when it starts executing I will show you how we can uh, go on with it let's check the monitor and uh, since this is a huge model it will take some time to uh, to take the pre uh, and the real thing is that we will be using will will show up in this output file and uh, those those of the guys that don't see or don't have their GPUs utilized they will get an error or log file here that the GPU is not utilized or ABA environment is not uh, present. So let's just wait for. So now I can see that uh, the solution is running now, and I can see that in standard. And uh, now my GPU is doing something. So what I have? When does it happen to run? is when it's calculating a sub step or it, it's just uh, performing uh, doing something for example uh, this 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 one is doing some iterations so when it's computing something and you can see that uh, now cpu is gone crazy as well hi and uh, now my gpu is utilizing at 100% as well but you will also this variation go down when it's just reading the results or it's just trying to submit uh, the, the step uh, the computed step now we will look for the keyword where it will show us that the GPU is being utilized and uh, yeah th this is the this is this is the model analysis and it will not show here so let's wait for the next step and then uh, I guess it, it will show up in the second step or the third one. Yeah, so I was just looking at the wrong uh, file. So it should be in the message file and uh, we can see it right below it. And where it is? Acoustic mode, parallel, contact tracking and here we are. GPU solver, acceleration enabled. So you can check that in the message file and let's look let's look it for the second step as well Maybe we can we can just look for easily GPU solver enabled, and then the next one. No, it, it starts with all one. So yeah, and now it's disengaged. So and I think the job is complete, right? So how we can do that in 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 the command window is we use the abacus job and job name and CPUs whatever number you're gonna use and CPUs and GPUs that's one and hit it and now we will just hit enter and then it will start doing everything again now we will still have the pre and uh, 
Mm, however, it, it's executing within the command window and uh, the Epicus window. So now we can see that uh, we are running it in in the command window and standard has started already. So we can see that our GPU memory is being utilized. And uh, when it will go to the iterating, it will use all of the GPU processing, you know, like it, it, there will be 100% utilization. And I hope that will help and uh, let me know your thoughts. Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye-bye.